What is going on? Just want to give you a little video on reading the detail drawings and having the right people do these critical welds. So, as you see, I had the welding gang. This is Children's Hospital in Philly. This is level one. So, this is when my son was one of my apprentices, but he was very highly skilled on running the flux core. So, this was his first real structural welding job. So, I threw him to the wolves because I educated him very well. So, I'm going to zoom in here. And I used to, when I run work, I break things down. As you can see, there's his name. So where are we at on what column line? Let's go to V2. So I'm going to go down to V2. And we'll look at detail H here. So we're going to go to the details. And you can check them out. They're pretty wild. So, like right here. These are my favorite ones. Because that's the floor beam. And the column comes in. There's your erection clips. We already got a plumb. We used a port of power. We jacked it. We got it right. So, as you see the detail, it's showing you what's going on here. There's V2. Pretty freaking nuts. I had him concentrate in this whole area here. And he didn't fail one UT. But these details are very important. As you can see. A lot of you structural heads know what's going on. But for you young guys that want to become welding foreman, always ask your welding foreman if he has old blueprints, especially the stuff you already did, that you did yourself. You can study and really look at it. You know, like that was badass. This one was really cri critical. You know what I mean? That's just, you know, that's, you know, just, just giving you a look here. So I'm going to go show you something else here. Like on these full pens here. I highlight everything. You know. I hope this video is good. I'm doing my best. That's my dog. You got your partials. They don't look big. But these columns were massive. You know. Look at the weight bro. Freaking crazy. That's sweet right there. We kept the backup bar. We had to take the runoff tabs off. See the erection clips here. We had to eliminate it. Made it look really nicey nice. And, you know, I'm very anal about this. Because uh, I learned from the best. And I always wanted to be, you know, not one of the best, but work with the best. So this is what I used to do. One day, Jet Weldon's going to get back to this. Because I conquered this. I learned from the best. So this is what I do. Like Billy and Eddie Cole. You can see, I had him here. 
They were taking care of the column. It took them three days. They were on each side. Three days. And I had Scotty Allison Drini. He was taking care of the moments. Him and Braden were basically my top welders. I abused them, but they loved it. Like Jason and Chuck, they stuck the columns. They were my column guys. So let's zoom in here. So that took them two days. You can see it's a W14 by 730 pounds per foot. You know, this is the kind of stuff I did. I had a very tight schedule and I had to stick with the raising gang. Because when they loaded the floors, I had to have the moments done and the columns done. And the next video I'll do, I'll show you my, uh, my whole gang and, you know, crazy stuff. But you want to play with the big boys. I love this column connection. Why? Because you're laying down. I'm going to do a video on that. And you got Pork Chop and Brock Lesnar. It took them three days. You know, I had Jamaican Mike. Jamaican Mike crushed it. He was my go-to outside guy. He did everything I asked. I love that man. Oh, got to cook dinner. But I'll get back to that. I'm out of here.